60 years ago when Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. was fighting for his favorite comedian by his side, Dick Gregory, was with Dr. King when he gave his I Have a Dream speech at the March on Washington in 1963. I'd like to say thank you very much, and it's a pleasure being here, and nice being out of jail. And I'm very confused this year because I never thought I'd see the day I would give out more fingerprints than autographs. Dick Gregory was the hottest, edgiest comedian of the early 1960s. Dick Gregory was one of the greatest political comedians to ever live. The sacrifices he made are necessarily required of every artist, but that they, they are very special people. That every few generations we're blessed with that are willing to do that. And when you see these people, you should give them your love and your respect, protect them to whatever extent you can, and try to recognize that they're doing something very difficult for the benefit of all of us. He set a very high bar. The new documentary, The One and Only Dick Gregory, is filled with awe expressed by the greatest comedians of our time, Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, Wanda Sykes, Kevin Hart, and many others. And it is filled with the history of the civil rights movement and the struggle for voting rights in this country. We have seen many entertainers lend their voices and their time and their money to social justice crusades, but we have seen only one completely give up show business and dedicate himself to the movement. That is what Dick Gregory did after his dear friend Medgar Evers was assassinated in his driveway in Jackson, Mississippi, when he arrived home one night. Dick Gregory never worried about money, but he knew what the loss of show business income would mean to his growing family. And so he turned, as he always did in moments of doubt, to his wife, Lillian. I called up Lil and I said, honey, are you willing to eat in the tent and go back to where we were? for right and she said yes she told me as she told me so many other times that a true test of a rich man is strip him of all his wealth then see how much he's worth you will see how much dick gregory is worth in the beautiful and moving documentary the one and only dick gregory which will premiere on showtime appropriately on the fourth of july joining us now is andre Gaines, the director of the one and only Dick Gregory. Andre, I just want to say thank you. This is a, this is a necessary film, and, I'm, and I really want to thank you for all of our kids who were too young to have seen Dick Gregory's work and too young to have known his work. Uh, and I, it must have been a joy and also uh, filled with tragedy and, and agony putting this film together because it covers so much ground from uh, from this, the great comedy stuff to the assassination of Medgar, Medgar Evers and so much more. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, incredibly challenging. I think I, you know, first of all, I want to say thank you to you. I mean, you've been an incredible supporter of the, the project really for quite some time. And and it was a, a joy really to see how many people Dick Gregory inspired. And it was a challenging story. I mean, this again was a guy who was part of every major American event since basically 1959 when he first came onto the scene until his time of his death in 2017. And he still remains as the, you know, unique entertainer that actually uh, sacrificed everything in order to fight for the civil rights movement and, and to fight for liberation. It's, it's an incredible story. He was an incredible human being. I was lucky enough to know him, uh, lucky enough to, to know his family and just all of the beauty that he had around him. And there was moments of controversy. There was moments of tragedy, but it's one of these few entertainers that everyone has something great to say about. And, and, and they were also, uh, willing to come into the film and, and actually speak about that. Well, I, I knew Dick Gregory. I read his books. I thought I knew everything that I did know everything that was publicly available about him. But I learned so much in, in every minute of this film that I did not know uh, about Dick Gregory. One of the things I, I love seeing is the way uh, the comedians working today, the great stars of today, see him and see him in the history of their business. Yeah, it's true. I mean, you know, there's so many moments we couldn't put in the movie 
that, uh, you know, all these entertainers, how much they were inspired by Dick Gregory, especially the comedians. And there were so many people that he touched in the business that we didn't realize. And you're not the only person to say that. There were so many people who have screened the movie or maybe have seen versions of it before we, you know, finally ended up uh, selling it to Showtime that said, we thought we knew him. And I mean, mm-hmm. a lot of his own kids said this. I mean, they, they grew up knowing their father was kind of the father to the world or a father to the world also. And he was traveling a lot. And so there was so many elements of his life that even his own family didn't get to see that we're able to actually present in, in the film. 